Good evening. My name is Stephen French, and we are 30 episodes deep into God's autobiography. This has been pretty fun the whole time, and I'm there's still like one view on everything. So in 20 years, when I go back and watch all of these, that'll probably be the second view on all of them, and that's okay. Today, I wanted to remember a little bit about last Neo gathering. Neo is a Northeast Ohio gathering, chicken gathering in Northeast Ohio. I think Brunswick, if that is correct. I don't know. I go there just about every year now. I've been to the last four in a row. They just had Neo 6 in uh, this last summer, 2018, I think the end of June. Pretty sure it was the end of June. Um, but this time, what kind of made this one fun is tattooing. I, uh, I started tattooing myself and some of my close buddies here in Arizona last March when I moved here, like late February, March. We just started doing some stick and pokes, got a few decent little pieces on my leg and just had a lot of fun with it. When I got back to Long Island, I bought a machine, well, two, a liner and a shader, and just started having more fun with that. I've actually, just the other day, did a little practice of uh, tattooing this on some fake skin, which, by the way, never use fake skin. This shit is awful. First off, the needle pierced right through it and it's got all over the table. Got a little bit on the sheet that I had underneath it, but it doesn't act like skin. It's pretty terrible. Um, I'm gonna try to find something else. It wasn't great. Don't recommend it. It was still a little bit fun. I'm gonna try to replicate that piece on maybe more fake skin just because I have it, but uh, from some doing like a stick and poke for the whole thing, because I think that might be neat. I'm considering putting it on my leg. But this video isn't about this, it's about Neo. So I've been doing tattoos for a little while, and I've got some friends of the tricking community who have tattoos and enjoy tattoos and wanted some tattoos when I got out there. So I brought all of my equipment, we got a hotel room. And yeah, it was just kind of word of mouth from the few that already knew. Um, what was really neat to me is I was sitting on the floor, Neo, the outdoor floor, and Jack Farmer Brown, a dope ass tricker from Australia, who's decently tatted, he, uh, he came up to me and said, hey, are you the tattoo artist? I said, uh, I wouldn't say artist, I was like tattoo hobbyist, but, but yeah, I brought my shit, I was like, are you, are you interested? And he was, and that's pretty cool. And I already had a few people that were interested, and we, um, just kind of went from there. A little later on in the day, uh, fucking Michael Guthrie, the, the goat of the sport, came up, came up to me and he uh, said, yo, are you the one doing tattoos? I said, yeah, are you interested? And I didn't end up getting to tattoo him, but it was pretty neat that, uh, that he considered it. Um, so where do we go first? We went to the hotel room. I think uh, Jack Farmer Brown came out first. Uh, although like there were other people through Snapchat and stuff that I knew were getting some, but we just started earlier and we started with him. He had a tattoo on his knuckle, or on his finger, and he wanted stick and pokes on the other four. So I did those. Unfortunately, I didn't get to touch them up at Trick Strong, so sorry, Jack. We kind of fucked up our schedule. Next time I see him, I'm going to tattoo those and clean them up and hopefully do the other side if he hasn't gotten them done already. But that was dope. I worked on that and then uh, moved on to some of the other people that I was going to tattoo. So I think two of the guys got Pangea, their, their team, as just the word on an ass cheek, and that's... That was fucking new to me. So um, I, I don't care if anybody knows that they have tattoos. Like obviously Jack's covered and it's on his fingers. So that's, but anybody whose tattoo is possibly hidden, I guess I'm not gonna mention just in case they hid it for that reason. Um, but the first time I tried to do Pangea on the first per, uh, first person, it um, I put on the stencil and I started using my my liner. Now asking is really weird and I didn't, I didn't expect this. Like it's really plushy. So like it would just kind of move with the needle and it wouldn't actually puncture. And it would start to puncture, like the skin would kind of move out of the way and it kind of, like the line was missing even though I, I thought it was drawing right on top of the stencil. So I was, I was really nervous, it was starting to, to get pretty bad. I did a whole pass and most of it didn't show up and where it did, it wasn't on the line, I was kind of freaking out. So I switched over to my shading needle, first time I had actually used the, or shading gun machine, first time I'd actually used it and it's much, much louder, which is a little bit intimidating, but it was fine. It was a faster, on longer draw on the needle so it was able to puncture the skin a lot easier. So I cleaned that one up. The next one came around, did that even better, did another ass tat that was, like, I, I didn't get pictures from, like, most of these guys, and the pictures I did get, I, I think I lost them on my old phone, they might be on my, my shitty uh, laptop, and I'm probably not going to go through and find them, but I should, I really fucking should, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I just deal with it. Um, <clears throat> I did, like, a little, like, plushy thing, it's like a little circle, cutesy guy with a face, I don't know, it was off of some stuffed animal reference. Uh, one thing that was pretty terrible was tattooing trickers at a tricking gathering on the ass cheek. Like, they often just came from session. Like, we, we washed the area that they were getting a tattoo, but like, sweaty asses, dude. You gotta be like there when you're tattooing it. It smelled pretty awful. That wasn't great. But 
part of the experience, I guess. Um, a good friend of mine, Ham, I guess this one's, he's going to have a bunch already. I did a couple on him already. He had uh, his 502 movement tattoo on the ankle of himself. It was his his design, put on a stencil, slapped it on, did the tat. Came out really well. I was pretty proud of that one. Uh, later on, did another one on, I think, his thigh. That was, um, it was ham. It was a pig that also hollowed out into the word ham. That was fun. I would like to go touch that one up quite a bit. I want to add a little more to it because it, it didn't seem complete. I think the line should be bolder. But hopefully I can get in touch with him next time I'm, I'm out in whatever, whatever gathering he's at. Um, one that I was really stoked for was um, Justice Buchanan, this kid from uh, Florida who fucking not enough people know about. Kids doing cork swing triples like it's easy. Um, he got Neo 6 right on his calf, just big, bold Neo 6. Just awesome reference, awesome memory, and I was so stoked to do it. Um, my buddy Insinio got a Taurus, like his constellation um, birth sign, on his wrist, which is mine as well, and it was a fun one to do. I tried to do that one in stick and poke. Um, it started taking a lot longer than I, I think it should have, and I was just I was able to do better with the machine. I just wasn't as confident with the machine at the time, so I went through and I did that. And somewhere in the timeline before some of these tattoos happen, but um, I got a phone call. I can't remember. I think I was working on Insinios at the time, but I get a phone call and I uh, I answer and it. it's from my buddy Dylan, but the voice doesn't sound like Dylan. I'm talking. I'm like I I don't know who this is. He said, uh, it's Phil Gibbs, fucking one of, if not my favorite tricker. He's out from Australia. I've met him once before. I didn't really get to talk to him at all. Um, he's like, yo, I just saw Jack's hand. Those are awesome. I really want to get a tattoo from you. And I'm, I'm freaking out. I was like, dude, this is one of the, my favorite trickers in the world. I've always wanted like an opportunity to talk and uh, talk to and pick out, uh, pick this guy's brain. And now he's asking me for a tattoo. It's fucking great. So, um, I look up to, look up to my buddy, Jared. It's like, hey, like, we're all in the hotel room. We've got just a whole crew there, a bunch of people, really, really fun time. And I don't want to tell Jared to like, hey, you have to go leave this fun time. But like, I, I, I knew he would be willing to. I was like, hey, I have a job for you and I'm pretty sure you're down. You need to go back to the gathering and go pick up Phil Gibbs and bring him back to the hotel room. And he's like, ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. It was like not even a five minute drive away. So he went down and unfortunately I was not able to tattoo Phil because I, it was, I think, um, Justice was coming up next. I just finished up on one of them. Justice left and he wasn't, he wasn't back yet. And so I started preparing for the next one and Phil was going to just jump in because I don't know, he, he wasn't here. Um, but then like right before we got started, Justice came back. Now I wanted to tattoo both of them and it turns out I could have. But Justice didn't have anywhere to be early in the morning, and Phil had to head out pretty early. So by the time I got done with Justice, it was like 6.30 in the morning. Like I've been going from 10 to 6. Like I did like an eight-hour shift of just tattooing my friends. and I didn't even get like that many done, but it, it was awesome. I had a, a great fucking time. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't get to tattoo Phil. So Phil, next time I see you, if you want a tattoo, I am down. Uh, I even had a, my buddy um, Dave Milner. He wanted a tattoo, and he gave me money for it, and I tried to tell him, I said, hey, no, <laughs> give me the money after the tattoo. He's like, oh, are you worried that I'm going to bail? It's like, oh, it's not that, but if you bail, that's fine. This is fucking permanent and I'm a rookie. Like, it's not the best setup. But, um, like, let's just, let's get it figured out. Let's do the tattoo. And what I've been telling everybody is that there's no cost to the tattoo per se. Like, I'm going to do the tattoo on you. Whatever you think it's worth, whatever you're, okay, like, okay with or comfortable losing, you give me that much. If you hate it, if it's nothing, that's fine. You cannot choose a wrong value. I won't be upset. And I got anything from $7 to $40. It was fantastic. That's like the guy who gave me seven. Like he, I, I honestly believe that, believed him when he said he was going to try to get me more. Um, and I'm, and it, it seems like he forgot and I didn't want to go track him down because that was fine. If he gave me seven, I told him there's no wrong answer. So I'm completely fine with doing tattoo for, uh, on him for seven bucks. And if he asked for another one, gave me seven again, I'd still be stoked to do a third. Um, but everyone else, like most of the time I got between 20 and 40 and, uh, but with David, he gave me 40 bucks. He wouldn't take it back. We went to go do a tattoo and we couldn't really decide on an idea. It's a bit of a, I don't know, a tough decision if it's your first tattoo and maybe you shouldn't go to an amateur if it's your first tattoo. But with everybody else, I, I try to convince people to not get the tattoo from me in a sense, even though I really want to do the work and I, I'm confident that I can do well enough. It's just that I'm a beginner and you need to know that. And if you're comfortable with that and you can like you still want to do it after me trying to kind of talk you out of it, then I'm confident that you're confident and we can go bang it out, which is great. It makes me feel a lot better about it. But we couldn't really land on an idea of what he wanted and that's okay. So I tried to give him the money back. 
and he still said no. He said, like, I want to support you and fucking like bless his kid's soul. He's great. Uh, he said, next time you see me, we'll have a better idea. We'll go for it then. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm down for that. So, Dave, when I see you, we're going to tattoo. You're going to tattoo. But what I thought was funny was uh, I said, hey, would you like to tattoo me? And he's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, like 100%, dude. Like, I don't even really care too much what it is. Let's just kind of pick a design that might be simple for you. I said, uh, you're going to fuck this up. This is going to be a bad tattoo. But as a potential tattoo artist, if I want to keep doing this for a while, I need to be good at cover-ups. So whatever you do on me, I can cover it up and I can, I can work on it after it heals. I'm completely fine with that. He was thrilled. He thought it was a dope idea. We ended up doing a star. I've already fixed it and I, I didn't take a proper before after, but I do have the after on my leg. Um, this star, he did just a star with a smaller star, just outlines, like big star inside, of, uh, around a little star. And it was shaky. It was shaky as fuck and the, the lines weren't great. Um, I didn't, I did have a stencil paper, but like, I don't know. It was what I expected for someone's first tattoo. It wasn't like god awful, but you know, straight lines are not, it's not too bad to do. But it wasn't great by any means. It was a really fun experience and I was confident that no matter what happened, I could fix it up. And I did. And I'm, I'm pretty stoked with how it came out afterwards. I want to do more with it and make it more than just a star. Like, kind of, I don't see what I can do with the symbol. I don't know. But Neo6 was such a fun fucking gathering for the tricks, for the people, for the seminars. Fucking Matt Milhone, you are an incredible host. That whole goddamn crew is just full of awesome human beings. And I got to tattoo some of my best friends. And it was awesome. Some of the coolest people in the world. I got to tattoo them. We got to make some memories together. And they're... Like, as I've told everybody, like, next time I see you, if it's faded or anything, I'll clean it up for free. I'm stoked to do more tattoos than these guys. And I made, like, 200 bucks just from asking people to pay whatever they thought was fair. That worked out really fucking well for me. I had a blast. Neo6 is a damn good memory that I, I don't think I could ever forget. So maybe it's not really important to put in the video. But I love it. In God's autobiography, episode 30, I thought was a good time to throw it in there. I think it's there. I keep... I think there's a few now where I've said the wrong number and then I go through and I just upload it with the correct number, but whatever. Mistakes don't matter when nobody catches them. <laughs> That's it. God's Autobiography episode. Doing that backwards. 30. Wait, am I? Shit. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to reflect it back because it's on facing. Why am I still talking? Fuck off. Goodbye. I missed the camera with my hand. <laughs>